Okay. So, um, in light of Venus being in retrograde, um, I kind of like to discuss and talk a little bit about what retrograde motion um, actually is. A lot of people are confused, to say the least, because it can be kind of confusing, so I'm going to try to break it down. Basically, uh, retrograde happens anytime a planet is the closest to Earth that it can possibly be. be. So, you think about Mercury, right? Um, that's in retrograde more than a year. Or less than a year, I'm sorry. Because it circles the sun in like six months' time, right? So, it passes Earth, you know, every three-fourths of a year. So that retrograde of Mercury happens quite often because it gets fairly close to Earth um, because of its orbit around the Sun because it's, you know, making a smaller orbit, therefore going faster. And Venus is the same thing. Um, second closest planet to the Sun. Uh, it goes in retrograde, gets closest to the Earth around one and a half years, every one and a half years. So, you have to realize that that actually affects the gravity of the Earth. Um, so, when uh, a planet is closest to the Earth, the gravity between the Earth and that planet, you know, has an effect, right? So, Venus is going slightly faster um, than the Earth. Um, so, every year and a half, right, when the planet, because the Earth is turning too. So, if the Earth was just still, then it would be, you know, the same amount every... Um, you know, three-fourths of a year, Venus goes around the sun, and, you know, because the Earth is moving every, you know, so often, boom, Venus is very close, right? And that's happening now. Venus is extremely close to the Earth. It's in retrograde. Um, so the gravity is slightly sped up because the Earth and because of Venus, um, they mix, right? The gravity is mixed, and if, when you do the math, um, it, you know, it affects the way time fluctuates as well, so it's moving slightly faster because gravity and time are directly related. Um, so, with that said, um, when you, when the planet's moving out of orbit, right, and or in fact, if you're looking at the night sky, um, it's going to appear to be moving in the night sky very fast. So you take one look and you're like, oh my God, there's Venus, right? It's in the sky. And an hour later, it's moved, like, you know, across the sky. And, and astrologically speaking, this is why it affects the planet so much. Because it can move from one house to the next, to sometimes even three houses in one night. And, um, and that's, you know, that's, that's crazy. That's a, that it, for a planet to do that um, is, is absolutely crazy because of the way that the Earth is moving. And in the night sky, astrologically speaking... Um, that planet can go through three houses because it's moving so fast because it's close and the Earth is spinning right. And as actually, and this is why this is why retrograde is is so fascinating because as it leaves the orbit right, as it starts getting farther and farther away, um, that or it's going to appear to move even faster across the night sky. So for two or three nights, um, it's going to look you know it's going to move through three or four houses. I mean, in the astrological zodiac, so. Um, it's really fascinating and it definitely has an effect on everything, not just, you know, astrology or pseudoscience or whatever. It actually has an effect on the gravity if you break it down scientifically, um, how it affects time. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit about retrograde. Uh, I hope that kind of clarifies any questions. I don't know. I hope I simplified it enough. It's basically just right. Like I said, it can only happen when the planet, so even Pluto, right? Even though Pluto is way out here, it can still be in retrograde because it's gonna, there's going to be a point when it is the closest to the earth that it can possibly be. Now that's because it's Pluto and the orbit is so gigantic. That probably happens, you know, every two or 300 years. Um, and Neptune is the same thing, maybe like every 70 years, you know, it's in retrograde, which is like, you know, that's crazy because that actually, and that lasts even longer too. You got to remember because it's so far out that the time that it's, that it takes might be, it could be in retrograde for, you know, two or three years. Maybe not that long, 
definitely long, you know, like months and months and months. Um, and so you got to keep that in mind. And then same with, you know, Mars. Um, that can be in retrograde for a, lo a long time, too. Um, this happens quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, that, that's right. It could be in retrograde. Neptune could theoretically, or, or Uranus um, could be theoretically in retrograde for years when you think about it. Um, because the Earth is also moving at that speed. Um, yeah, maybe months, months to years. So anyway, that's retrograde motion in a nutshell. Um, I hope that explains a little bit about uh, what that is. Thank you for watching.